Good day guys, so today I want to review this table uh, from Felder, it's uh, the Felder Fat 300 and there is one scissor lift table a little bit larger than this one, uh, it's got more weight capacity as well. Uh, this one here, the maximum weight rating capacity is 300 kilogram. So um, anyways, yeah, I bought this this table, this scissor lift table, about a year and a half ago, and uh, and I kind of knew that I'd like it. Um, I like the fact that it's uh, that the height is adjustable, and uh, you know, to uh, to raise it, you just push on the pedal, and to lower it, you just put your foot under the pedal and pull. So it's really easy. Uh, it's very handy when I uh, build cabinet box. And then, you know, when I use uh, my screws or my, uh, my nailer, uh, if it's too low, you know, I can just raise it a little bit and then, then when I get to the top, if it's too high, I just lower it. And I always work at my comfortable height. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's very handy for that. Uh, all, all caster wheels, they're all, they're all lockable. So, you know, your table doesn't move around. Um, now this, this table, you can either buy it with the tabletop or without. I decided to buy it without the tabletop, so I made a hard maple tabletop. <laughs> Maybe I went a little overboard there, it went two inch thick, but I want to make sure when I hit on it with a hammer, you know, I get something solid. But again, I don't think I need it to go you know, that thick. Um, so yeah, you, you could build you know, any size you want really. Um, this, the, the tabletop size that I built, I thought it was adequate for this table. Like I said, you, you could buy one a little bit larger, it's heavy dutier, it, it would be called the Fat 300S and not the Fat 300. But anyways, this is the size that I decided to build. So the width is, is 31 inches. And the length is 49 inches. And uh, I will let you know what's the, the maximum height that it lifts. Alright, so that's, you can tell it lifts pretty high. So I get 41 and a half inches. So, you know, if you don't build the top as thick, well, then you'll get a little bit less, maybe 41 inches. And let's see what is the lowest setting. And I get 17 and a half inches. Alright guys, so I've just told you that uh, this table is really handy when I assemble cabinet box because I, you know, I could use it and work at my height. And a cabinet box is just one example. But this table here does so much more than that. So let's say um, I'm gluing up a big uh, butcher block countertop, something like 8 feet long. And you know it's all dried up, and now I got to bring it to my thick thickness sander. Well, I don't need a helper. All I have to do is slide it on here, bring it up to my thickness sander, slide it back on there, roll it up to my table saw. So if I want to cut a 45 or or whatever, if I want to cut it to length on my table saw. Um, recently, a customer came over with a bunch of lumber, and he wanted me to plane it for him. So all I did is I is I wheel this table right up to my big garage door and we slid all the lumber, we had like a pile of lumber like 10 feet long and it was, the pile was about that thick. So we loaded up all to one side, brought it up to my planer and we planed the boards and stack it up on this side and then we just wheeled that right up to his pickup truck. Um, I've seen myself load up a big, heavy, heavy live edge slab and you know, put it on, and I'm by myself, right? So I put it on there and wheel it up to the garage door and all I have to, to do is, you know, pump that up to the, to the same height as the tailgate of my truck and just slide it on the truck. Same thing if I got heavy material in the truck, you know, I'll, I'll just bring that up to the garage door and slide it on there and I can bring it anywhere to, I want in the shop. 
sometimes like I'll have a big object right on here and I, and I want to flip it on the floor, flip it on its side or whatever. So I'll slide it on here, right? And then lower the table right down so that I'm close to the floor and then I can flip it. So um, yeah, this is, I've never thought that this table would be as handy as it is. It's like having a helper with me. Um, I work by myself in here in the shop, so. And it's also an extra table. Sometimes, you know, I'm doing a glue up on this table and, it, it, you know, I can't use it until the, the glue dries. Well, then I got a, a second table I can, you know, do stuff. Um, sometimes I'll have a, a stack of, uh, you know, small pieces and I got to bring it to the router or plane it or bring it to the table saw. I'll stack it on there and bring it, you know, nice and close to my table saw. Let's say if I got to uh, trim the ends of it or whatever, um, you know, I can wheel it around with my shop. So, so handy for that. But anyways, this table, I like it the best for, for heavy object. To, to bring it to my table saw or whatever that that's what I like it for the best because Before I have to call a friend and wait for my friend to come over here and pick it up and bring it on the, to the floor or, or move it around now I, I have this it's, it's just like it having a helper with me and As a matter of fact if my shop would be a little bit bigger. I would have two more of these tables uh, and again, uh, you can get one that's a little bit heavy duty or it's, you know, a little bit bigger. It would be the FAT 300S. Alright guys, so here's another example where I just used my scissor lift table. is is one I built this upper, uh, upper countertop here. I got my, um, my braces here and this is all screwed to this to this uh, piece of melamine here, which is 42 inches high. So this, this table here was upside down on my main table and then of course I had this screwed to it so it was pretty high and then I had to bring it here and again I was by myself right so again picture this this is upside down I slid it onto my scissor lift table then I wheeled it over here and I dropped the scissor lift table the, the lowest setting right and then, uh, then I just spun it around and, and then I flipped it, put this on the floor so it was nice and low and I just lift it like that and then, you know, I just put a clamp and some screws from behind. Again, if I didn't have my scissor lift table, um, I would have had to wait for a friend to come and help me for that. Alright, I apologize this uh, kitchen island is not finished yet, I'm just waiting for my drawer fronts because I, I buy my doors and and my drawer front, so it should be in about a week or so. But anyways, this is another example here where I, I use my scissor lift table. So I made this uh, butcher block here myself, and it's uh, the total end is eight foot, so it, it's a large se section. So anyways, I um, I built two, built this in two halves just so it can fit in my planer. I could have built it in one piece and then put the whole thing through my thickness sander, but uh, it, it's starting to get a pretty large piece. So I build it in two halves and, you know, glue it up. Then I put it on my scissor lift table, brought it to my planer and plane both sides and then back to my gluing table. And then I put some dominoes every 12 inches here and then I glue the two halves together and then sand it. And now this is starting to be a, you know, a big heavy piece. So then I had to cut it at 45 degree here on my sliding table saw. So all I had to do is slide the whole thing to my scissor lift table, you know, bring it up to the same height as my sliding table saw and then I just slid it off my scissor lift table to the sliding table saw, cut my 45, slide it on back to my uh, scissor lift table and then pump it up to the height of the cabinet and just slide it off, slide it onto the cabinet. Same with this piece. These are just examples where I can use it and like I say, I use it every day. It's just like having an employee with me helping me out. So, all right guys, uh, I think this video is long enough. Um, I hope it helps you in the decision to buying a FAT 300. And um, I will see you guys in the next video.